Ken Jones again, and we're at another pier. Today's pier is going to be the Elephant Rock Pier in Tiburon. It's a tiny little pier. It's also one of my favorite piers. It's built right over a rock, and if you like rock fishing and the kind of fish that you catch around rocks, it's a favorite. Gets a lot of rockfish here, a lot of the sea perch here, uh, and this is Tiburon. Now Tiburon in Spanish is shark. And when this area was first settled, they called it El Tiburon, or Shark Point. And so, not surprising, I guess, that a lot of sharks are also caught off of this pier, some really big sharks. Right, you can see in the background is Angel Island. Angel Island is the famous island where, kind of the west coast version of Ellis Island, all the immigrants to the western United States back in the late 1800s, early 1900s, they came to Angel Island, they'd be processed before they were allowed to go to San Francisco and get on the mainland. So same kind of thing that you had in New York with Ellis Island and Statue of Liberty and all that, only here was Angel Island. Uh, today, Tiburon is an absolutely beautiful little town, uh, also one of the most expensive little towns uh, in the Bay Area. Uh, back in the 1800s, 1870s, this entire area was covered pretty much by railroads. They had a local railroad, they had a long wharf, and they had all kinds of uh, docks to uh, dock shipping to haul stuff on the railroads. Eventually that was taken over by Southern Pacific and it operated, at, I believe, until 1929. It looked nothing like it looks today. It, uh, in the 1950s, 1960s, if you drove over here, there was a lot of remnants for the railroads, but it started to become more of a touristy town also. Eventually, all of that railroad stuff was removed. I think it was 1980s, 1984 maybe. Uh, they actually came in, they covered up all of that old toxic uh, material from where the railroads were. And today, when you come to Tiburon, uh, there's some great restaurants, there's some nice hotels. It's just a very, very nice area. This pier, this pier was built in the memory of a boy who died uh, fishing slipped and fell in the water and died. So they built this pier and they made it in the memory of, of kids. And originally they really, I think, kind of saw it being reserved for kids, but that didn't work. So over the years it's become a popular pier for adults and children. And again, it's not very big. You can only get maybe a dozen people out there comfortably, but the fishing's really good. And again, you couldn't ask for better views. You look off to the, to the west, you see the Golden Gate Bridge. Most nights you got ships, sailboats, all kinds of craft in the water, non-stop stream of ships. And like I said, you look over here at Angel Island, the water between Angel Island and the mainland here at Tiburon is very deep. So that's one reason you have a lot of sharks, some huge bat rays, uh, some big sharks, including seven gills, because the water out of the middle here is over 200 feet deep and so, uh, very quickly it drops off. Whereas the pier itself, uh, when you come out here, uh, if you're like me, you like to fish around the rocks, which is actually shallow water, or you can cast out and cast out and try to get the bigger sharks, the larger fish. In October, they have what they call the uh, World Series Bite. The striped bass come into the bay and they hug, they hug the Marin Coast right through here. And all through here, you see the striped bass moving as they're moving inland toward the delta and into the Sacramento River. So that's another fishery. And of course, this area is famous for sturgeon. So, um, although there are a lot of restrictions on sturgeon today, but, um, and I don't think you can actually can catch them, keep them anymore here. But um, great water, great views, great place to visit. And when you're done visiting the pier, you walk a couple hundred, I don't know, quarter of a mile down the shoreline here. You got a whole bunch of uh, really good uh, restaurants. Uh, my favorite place called Sam's, and I've had several meals there now, and it's really good. And um, just a really, really nice place to visit if you're not familiar with the Bay Area. The rocks along the shoreline, because of the way they're laid out here, the easy access from the shore. Sometimes you'll be sitting on the pier fishing. You'll look over here and these guys will have long poles. 
what they're doing is they're poke poling, trying to get underneath the rocks and different crevices and cracks in the rock, trying to get monkey face eel, uh, little rock fish, uh, whatever they can get basically under the rocks. But you have to have, uh, you have a long bamboo pole, you have a very short, very short little wire leader usually, and you hook that fish and you try to grab it out of there. It's, uh, yeah, there's no room to play it. You got to get it out of that, that hole. So it's kind of an interesting area because you can, like I said, you can't, you can't do that off the pier. It's too far out to poke pole, but you can do it along the shore here. out the uh, stairway down to the pier what happened was um, back about 20 years ago they actually uh, had storm damage to this pier the waves uh, pretty well wrecked the pier and so when they rebuilt the pier uh, with all the new laws as far as wheelchair accessibility all those type of things uh, it took them several years to get permission to rebuild the pier and when they did they made sure they had wheelchair access. So they totally redesigned the thing. And you can see on the, on the floor here, it's designed so that if the waves come up, they won't destroy stuff. They'll simply splash through the holes in the base of the pier here, on the, on the, on the top of the pier here. Uh, so that the force, of the force of the waves doesn't force the pier, the walkway of the pier out. It, it gets simply the waves, the water can, has a place to go basically. But they have this long, long walkway. It used to be just a short little walkway. That has this long walkway simply because uh, American Disabilities Act. And so it took a few years of work to get permission, but they finally were able to figure it out. So it's something new. The other thing you have going on over here, you have some cables coming out from the shoreline right out into the water. And if you don't know they're there, it's a place to really easily hook your, your hooks up on these different cables that go out. And so uh, it's just something you got to kind of learn where they're at by fishing the pier several times. And you kind of know where you can cast or you can't cast, where it's safer to cast. But um, if you can look down here, you can see got a couple cables going out, a couple uh, pipes and stuff going out. Part of the environment watch our peer fishing videos we have two aims one aim is to educate people how to be better anglers and secondly we hope you entertain you a little bit hope you enjoy these films watch the films hit the like button hit the subscribe button and keep watching